Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite games that I played on November 2019. It's that time of the month where I upload a video at the end of the month trying to show you guys and share with you guys the games that I enjoyed the most. You know, maybe that way it'll give you an idea of some of these games if you've been on the fence on getting one of them for any of these two systems because on this month, the systems that I played the most was the Nintendo. Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 and of course let's go and start with the first game that I played here this month and I have to put Luigi's Mansion 3 yes Luigi's Mansion 3 came out on October 31st but it turns out to be a November game because I played it throughout November until the Pokemon Sword came out so the first two weeks of November I was actually playing Luigi's Mansion 3 on my Nintendo Switch and I loved it I finished the story it has beautiful graphics it is very funny and oh my god just the characters in this game is just so fun and so awesome so for me in my opinion I love this game so much that it's honestly one of my favorite Nintendo switch games ever so but then on November 8th we got the Nintendo switch Sazian and Zamazenta edition that came out uh, yes, I did have the gray one at first when it came out, but I decided to go ahead and turn that one away or sell it and get this one because I actually like the color scheme and all that. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this one and it actually became my mobile device of the month. So I've been using this on the go all the time. The other one has been staying home docked. I've been using the other one also to like record footage because the bad thing about the Nintendo Switch Lite is that it doesn't have video output. So if you ask me which one is my favorite Nintendo Switch, the original Nintendo Switch or the Lite console, I have to go with the original one because the original one is the real Switch and I can have actual video output for my recordings and the screen is bigger so i do prefer the original switch even though I, yes i've been using this console a lot this month more than the original switch on the 15 we got pokemon sword and shield came out and the one that i picked up was pokemon sword and i already finished it like uh, i would say like five days ago and i loved it no no i finished it on thanksgiving day yeah thanksgiving day in the morning i did my last badge not my last badge but my last challenge my last boss fight and i loved it i really really did like pokemon sword but one thing's for sure i really don't know what's the big deal with selling pokemon sword and pokemon shield as different packages because at the end of the day spoilers you don't end up with a pokemon sword or shield in your pokemon pokedex i don't know what's the huge deal about that uh selling two copies of pokemon sword and shield but i did like it honestly it's a little bit better than pokemon let's go pikachu uh, i played it last year and i finished it and i loved it it was my first pokemon game this is my second pokemon game that i actually play and finish the whole story so yes i liked it but my favorite game of the month when it comes to the nintendo switch is actually luigi's mansion 3. this game is just amazing so on the ps4 when it comes to the ps4 the first game that came out this month was death stranding uh, i think it was on the 8th of november and let's be real the graphics are great the story i really like the story even though it has a weird story but i really love it um, Hideo Kojima did a great job with the soundtrack, with the graphics, looks amazing, but in my opinion, the gameplay mechanics are just garbage. I just don't like the fact that you have to be stumbling your way from point A to point B. I just don't like it, and I believe me, I already played over 21 hours of Death Stranding, and I did like it, and I did want to keep on playing it, even though I don't like the mechanics, for me, in my opinion, it's a garbage mechanic game. I still recommend people to try it out because you might like it more than I do. Uh, but I just don't like it. So I think I'm going to be ending up um, putting this on eBay because I don't think I'm going to go back to it. Because after this game, I actually started playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Which, when you're coming from this to this... When it comes to the gameplay mechanics, it's night and day. This 
dethrones, destroys Death Stranding's when it comes to gameplay mechanics. Yes, the graphics here are better, but this has great graphics as well. I love the story. The story makes more sense than Death Stranding. Uh, I liked all the characters in this game, and I really, really enjoyed it. I loved it so much that this game will definitely be on my top 10 list of the year. I really loved it. I finished the story. I went back into the world to try and get collect other stuff that I fin uh, did miss, like echoes and all that. And I just enjoyed it. I just loved every second of it. And I'm surprised that I didn't have bugs when it comes to this game. A lot of people have been complaining that the PS4, they've been getting like game breaking bugs. I didn't have no bugs whatsoever. And I was playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Maybe that's why. But I, I loved it. I just loved it. One of the best games, in my opinion, of this year. But this game made it to the list because i purchased this game on thanksgiving day right after the cowboys game i played on thanksgiving day like two hours yesterday i played like three hours of it and today i played like almost two hours of this game and i already finished it so it definitely makes the list for my one of my favorite games of november because i bought it on november and i finished it on the last day of november i think this game came out october or september i don't know yet but it's a beautiful game gorgeous game great gameplay it is short but it is great it has a very cool story and i just love it i finished it yes i finished it like around seven hours i would say but you can still go back if you're a trophy hunter you can still go back and start collecting all the pages and start doing a whole bunch of things to get your platinum and it, i i don't think this is gonna be a hard platinum and i i loved it i really really loved it for me in my opinion this is gonna be on my top 10 games of the year because it's just gorgeous you can also play it on vr but i don't have a vr i'm pretty sure this game must look good and beautiful on vr but i don't have vr but on normal playstation 4 pro Whoa. i just loved it it has a great story great graphics um the, the mechanics are awesome so for me my opinion this game it's even better than death stranding when it comes to the story and when it comes to the mechanics it's just way better I just loved it and I finished it so for me a good game that you can go ahead and sit down and play it fast if that's what you're looking for oh man totally worth it really really loved it they did a great job with this game but when it comes to the favorite game of the month it's definitely Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on the PS4 and overall overall my favorite game of the month is still Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order better than you know all these games right here this game is awesome this game is awesome but my favorite game of the month was star wars jedi fallen order so guys that's it with my list let me know what games did you play on november and which one of them is was your favorite game there's a whole bunch of games that came out like call of duty i think it came out in november uh there's a whole bunch of them but let me know what games what did you play in november and you loved the most necessarily it didn't have to be a game that came out in november it's just a game that you enjoy the most on november thanks for watching this video till next time guys bye bye